Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here, bringing you a Splinterlands update. Just want to say thanks, and I appreciate the time you spend with me, because I know it's valuable. Okay, and also, uh, if you continue to like to get this information out of me, please like and subscribe. Pass it around on other social media so we can get the word out. Okay, appreciate that. As you can see up on the screen, I had to jump on here today, because if you weren't uh, keeping up on it... Uh, um, today, the first gold foil Heloise the Hollow dropped, and boy, it just busted all uh, what I thought it would hit uh, as far as money brought in. First of all, let's take a look at what is Heloise the Hollow. Uh, if you're not familiar with this uh, card game, uh, Splinterlands is an, a Web3 uh, collectible card game based on the Hive blockchain. Um, and just like any other collectible card games, you collect, trade, sell cards, um, and play with them to earn in the game, or you just play for fun. So um, in the game currently, there's a number of things going on, one of them being a auction-type format for a card that is very highly limited. In most cases, most of these cards we play with on in this game are in the thousands, ten thousands, up to the millions of copies available, right? In this case, Heloise the Hollow is a highly limited card, limited to 100 copies. Five of those are gold foil copies, which means they're much more highly limited, right? And all of the cards are at maximum level. So you don't have to worry about buying one uh, multiple copies of each card to level up, but uh, the offside to that is they are very expensive. But uh, what we're going to take a look at are the numbers as far as what they've been going for uh, thus far because uh, the auctions have been going on for a while. And the reason for this video is the first gold foil just sold at auction today and we're going to look at those numbers. Okay, there it is. The first, the, the winning bidder for the number one gold foil Heloise the Hollow is Cryptomancer who is a, a member of the team, of the development team. And the price that he paid was 14 million DEC. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the uh, Splinterlands, DEC, Dark Energy Crystals, are one of the prime cryptocurrencies that are used in the game. Um, and uh, here in a minute, I've got a slide where I went through and did the numbers to uh, real money math. Um, but I think the prime driver here was that one, it's a gold foil maximum level copy, and it's number one. So uh, there's the hope that uh, this drives value in the future, okay? Other than it being a very strong playing card, some would argue overpowered. I'm not so sure about that. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but I think it's the collectability aspect. Okay, so taking a look at the numbers, as always, I like to do them, put them on a, a, a slide here so I can reference and not have to do math off the top of my head. But uh, these numbers are accurate as of today, uh, November 27th, 2024. Uh, there have been 19 regular foils sold and, of course, the one uh, gold foil sold, which is the first one. My guess is that it's probably the one that will have gone for the most at the end, but who knows? These are crazy numbers. Now, uh, up till last night, up till I, I got up this morning, and I was quite surprised that the bid was sitting at 7 million DEC or maybe 7 million 500,000 DEC, one of the two. Uh, either way, I was quite surprised that within the last two minutes, uh, Cryptomancer actually pretty much doubled his bid to 14 million because he wanted to secure that card and make sure no one was going to uh, snipe it from him, in other words. Um, so it, that was the big surprise that, there at the end. We all. Uh, that were sitting there looking at it, thought that he was going to win, um, but we didn't uh, really figure he was going to double his bid. But he got the card. So the average regular foil winning bid to this point, after 19 having been sold, is 1,085,573, once again, plus or minus a little bit here. Um, and uh, this is the, uh, these numbers are figured at the current rate of about 83 cents per thousand DEC. So that's what I figured out. Uh, the first gold foil uh, sold to Cryptomancer for 14,000 DC. And in real money terms, what we're looking at is the gold, uh, the regular foil average price is about 900 US dollars, 901 US dollars, plus or minus a little bit there. Um, and these numbers are just standard DEC value. Uh, we're not 
factoring in any you know fees or anything like that we're just considering hey these people had that dec sitting there ready to use uh, so we're talking about 900 bucks for a regular foil now the gold foil number one price was uh, significantly more uh, eleven thousand six hundred and twenty dollars once again plus or minus and uh, I checked, um, and this is all, because I couldn't remember, this is all going into the Dow. So if I'm incorrect, please correct me in the comments. Uh, and uh, a big announcement from Royal Eagle on Discord earlier said that uh, the combined effect on the Dow is uh, like 88,988 DEC which is right around $32,444, uh, once again, plus or minus. Um, so uh, this is a good effect, and we still and have, we have quite a while to go. That's the first 20 cards, okay? So we have another 80 cards to go, uh, four of which will be um, regular uh, gold foil, and the rest are going to be regular foil. Uh, the current one up, number 21, is it looks like it's currently going to Crypto Eater for uh, 1,369,420. But who knows? I mean, this one just went up and there's 22 hours left. Uh, but this is right around the average that it's been. Um, this is all amazing to me. I mean, let's take a look at the car. Okay, I was able to find one over here on the market. There's actually one up for rent by Crypto Eater. Um, let's take a look at the card. Uh, nine mana. Uh, of course, it's legendary. It is Death and Earth, uh, dual uh, splinter, uh, eight damage melee, three speed with seven health. But that's not really what sets this apart. What sets this apart is uh, these powers right here. Now, first of all, it does have Taunt, uh, which uh, is going to bring all attacks towards it. Then it has Opportunity, which is, to me, I, I love stacking uh, hands with Opportunity. Um, now, uh, the... Uh, next power is Spite, when defeated, 100% chance to counterattack, which is also always nice. And this is really uh, what makes this card, in my opinion. Uh, the new power is called Soul Siphon. As long as there is a non-weary allied unit, self-resurrects with 100% armor and 50% of max health rounded down. All magic debuffs are removed and all magic buffs are reapplied inflicts weary on the non-weary allied unit with the highest health and reduces their health by 50% rounded up. Okay, so my real take on this is that she uh, she keeps resurrecting, but each time she resurrects, uh, it requires uh, a card in the hand to be uh, non-weary. And when that resurrection happens, it applies weary to the next the card with the highest health. And then rounds that health in half, uh, cuts that health in half, round it up. Okay, so it basically keeps making other cards in the hand weaker um, and killing them off uh, at the expense of keeping resurrecting her. But if you want to get in and, um, you know, try her out, uh, you can rent it off Crypto Eater for about two and a quarter a day. One of the big discussion topics going on right now is, uh, you know, best approaches to going ahead and beating her if you think she's going to be used against you. I think that uh, the best chance of her being used against you is if you're obviously in the champ league and playing with the big dogs. But um, it's a valid conversation. Leave in the comments what uh, what you think is the best way to beat uh, Heloise of the Hollow. I've had a number of people send me uh, battles uh, where um, they actually beat her with uh, not necessarily common cards. They are cards that are gonna be played in champ level because let's face it, this is a this is a whale card, right? Um, uh, but it's a valid conversation. Uh, let's talk about it. Leave in the comments if you have a good way of beating Hello Louise the Hollow and what you think about the whole sale. Uh, I, I think that it's benefiting the company and the Dow, right? So uh, we've seen, you know, what, $33,000, $34,000 going into the Dow so far, and we're, we're just through the first 20 cards. So who knows where this is going to end up, but it does look like it's pumping some good funds into the Dow, which overall leaves funds there to help the company keep going, you know, when they request money. I'm crazy in the comments. This has been Bronze Dragon. It's uh, Thanksgiving week here in the States. I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, if you're outside the United States and don't celebrate Thanksgiving, you can still uh, take a minute and give thanks to all the benefits and pluses you have in your life because a lot of people have it worse than we do. So I uh, hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I will see you in Splinterlands. Mm -hmm.